Does vehicle wheel alignment factor into ADAS and autonomous features? I'm Jason Stahl, and we're going to find out next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Today's vehicles shine an even brighter light on how important wheel alignment is. The new ADAS and autonomous features on vehicles all rely on that alignment being exactly as it should by OE specifications for the driver assist features to perform correctly. It is not just about going straight down the road anymore. Now, the vehicle's attitude or alignment to the roadway is also a factor. This brings to light what to do if the repairs do not warrant an alignment. Think about this scenario. A car is traveling across a parking lot at a low rate of speed. A collision occurs with a pickup truck that causes light damage to the front bumper cover and grille. In that bumper cover behind the grille is the radar for the adaptive cruise control. The bracket that holds the radar is bent, requiring replacement. Let's assume all other aspects of the bumper cover are repairable according to OE parameters. Following all the OE repair procedures, it's noted that a calibration of the radar is required due to the bracket being replaced, which required the radar to be disconnected and R&I'd. The shop reads through the OE prerequisites to do the calibration for the vehicle. These include, depending on the vehicle manufacturer, fill fuel tank to full, fill all fluid levels, correct air pressure, proper tires and wheels for model of vehicle, verify alignment, Verify steering wheel angle sensor is correct. There's more to add here, but you get the point that there are required preparations of the vehicle prior to doing a calibration. There are also requirements of the environment to do the static calibration, such as level floor or, for dynamic calibrations, weather conditions. During the calibration, a drive cycle is performed to verify that all systems are operational, and it's found that the vehicle is out of alignment and the calibration fails. The alignment issue is not the result of the damage from the collision that was repaired. To complete the calibration required for the repairs and procedures that were performed, the alignment must be done to complete the calibration correctly. Releasing a vehicle with the safety features compromised or disabled is not an option a shop should pursue. Not following all the guidelines necessary for a proper calibration will bring the shop a whole new level of scrutiny that it will not want if the unfortunate event of a crash occurs. Let's say the alignment was not done or verified to be correct and the customer comes back with a drivability complaint. Who will be responsible for the cost to complete the alignment now? Remember hearing, well, it was not like that before you fixed my car. A warranty is never good for any shop as it costs the shop money to have an alignment done, whether it's in-house or subletted out, and upsets workflow. Add to that the fact that the customer is now not as happy as they should be with their vehicle repairs and are spending their time getting it corrected. This can have a demoralizing effect on the shop management and your team. No technicians want to do repairs or warranties for free, even if it is to make the customer happy. There is some good news for shops. The alignment issue has been a problem for a while now in many aspects of vehicle repair. To verify an alignment, you're basically required to actually do the alignment. New tools being developed are capable of doing quick checks on a vehicle's alignment. This is a valuable tool to all shops doing bodywork, mechanical or auto glass. Instead of doing an alignment or setting the vehicle up on an alignment rack, these tools can be used right on the level floor of the shop, saving setup time and labor. So is alignment important in today's world of technologically advanced vehicles? You bet it is. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.